Hello, this is the Trade Site U.S. Stocks and Futures Market Preview for uh, Tuesday the 15th of uh, June 2021. Hope you had a good, oh, sorry, ignore that. Hope you had a good trading day on uh, Monday. It wasn't that much, but a couple things. Um, here's a look at the uh, ES front month futures contract. This is the daily chart of the broad market and futures forum. We continue to have that 13 sell signal. We continue to be under the um, risk line of that sell signal. So the sell signal is in place, but obviously when you look at this, it's just really kind of boring. You know, it is what it is. Um, let's go through the day daily charts. Crude oil up 28 cents. That's a new high for the year, up to 71.19. Gold up down $11.90. Uh, rolling back over here a bit. S&P cash. In 7.71, getting close to the risk line on that sell signal. NASDAQ 100 up 129. New closing highs on the NASDAQ today. That was the surprise. The SOX up 45, getting near highs, but the biotechs were down 7 for the session, and they're not near highs, although that's a little bull flag forming there. The Russell 2000 down $9.66 after uh, getting near the highs. The VIX closes up 74 cents to 16.39. Trend closes at 1.61. Puts the 10 day at 1.14. NASDAQ volume is 4.4 billion shares. So that's light. That's part of the issue there. Advanced decline ratio on the NASDAQ was negative, negative 224. So more stocks were down than up, even though the NASDAQ's up 124. On uh, the New York, it was negative 258. Um, but here's why the NASDAQ was up Google up $18.71 to new. All time highs closing above that risk line finally. Apple up $3.13. Netflix up $11.12. Netflix really hasn't done anything for quite a while, has it now? Amazon up 37.04. Also hasn't done anything for quite a while. Tesla up $7.80. Facebook up $5.51. Zoom closes down 49 cents. Goldman Sachs down $5.13. TLT, the 20 year bond ETF, was down $1.09. So rolling over there a bit after being up for a couple days. The Dow is down 85 points. Bitcoin closes it back near 40,000. And the put call ratio closes at 0.53. So uh, intraday action, five minute candles. This was kind of weird. So here's the ES. You know, kind of a flat open, just kind of drifted lower. Bottomed out over lunch, still didn't do anything after lunch, and then the last 30 minutes of the day, too late for anything that matters, just takes off. And remember these, uh, uh, that's the back 30 minutes of the day, right? The NASDAQ side, though, was stronger all day, so it's kind of a drift up, and then it also ran in the last 30 minutes of the day. So, kind of a strange day from that perspective. Uh, in terms of economic data coming out on Tuesday here in the U.S., uh, we've got retail sales and PPI and Empire State Manufacturing Index now before the bell. Capacity Utilization Industrial Production at 9.15. Business Inventories and NAHB Housing Market Index at 10. And uh, Tick Long-Term Purchases at the close tomorrow. That's it. We'll see what we get. Um, charts as usual brought to you by eSignal. If you've not yet taken a trial of our services, feel free to do so. We will help you out for a couple weeks. Have a great trading uh, Tuesday.